All right, so today I'm gonna look at the weapons kit from Roblox, and I'm gonna make it so that it doesn't do friendly fire, right? So it doesn't hit people on your own team. I'll put this link in the description. This has a lot of documentation on the weapons kit, but not about that, right? So it's got a whole bunch of stuff on the weapons, how to use it somewhat, how to configure it, but not about the teams. So I'm just gonna grab this pistol right here. If you don't have any of the weapons, you can, you can get it this way, or you can dig around through the toolbox to try and find it. Uh, obviously I have the weapon. Um, I'll put this link in the description too. And then hit that green get button. Yours will say get, mine is already try in studio. So let's go ahead and try it in studio. I'm gonna go here and this is a fresh world. I'll go to my toolbox. I'm on marketplace right now with this first tab. Let's go to inventory, click on that. And we have a whole bunch of weapons and here's the pistols. So let's just drag those in there. Yep, and give me a warning. I'll close this. And here are our weapons, right? So the first thing we need to do, see this weapons folder? This weapons folder is for all of the weapons. You only need one copy, right? So we're gonna pick one of these. Might as well pick this one, right? The lowest. We're gonna drag it down to server script service. There. And we only need one copy. So what we can do, so we don't get mixed up with what scripts are being used, we're gonna delete that weapon system from pistol two and that weapon system from the pistol with no number. Cool beans, all right, we'll leave all three weapons. Let's take one weapon and put it in our starter pack in case we can't find it. Where's our starter pack? There we go, cool. And I'm gonna go down to server script service now and I'm gonna configure this for my teams. I'm gonna click that little arrow to open this up, this weapon system folder and weapon systems, weapons system module script is what we need to change. Let's go ahead and open it. There we go. Now, if we search on, I'll do a control F, get team. There we go. Get team. So this is a callback that you can set in case you want to do something special with your, um, when you go to hit a team member, right? Or get a team member. So you can set that, set get team callback. You, we are not gonna do that. We're gonna do something easier. Let's just go ahead and do a search for this. Uh, get team callback, cool. It's gonna take us down to players on different teams. So when we shoot somebody or something, we're, this is the person doing the shooting, this is the shoot E. We're gonna to check to make sure Oh, here is the note here too. This allows players to damage themselves and NPCs. If you don't want that, you can make that false. But um, just so that you know. Down here is what we're looking for for team stuff, right? We're going to get our teams. And then we're going to check to see if team player one is not equal to team player two. And if that's true, then we're going to damage them. So remember, we didn't set that. And we're not going to. We have this default get team callback. So this is going to be called because this is nil. And oh, look here, here it is. Default get team callback and it's returning zero. Well, if it returns zero, these are always going to be equal. We don't want that. We want to say, look at that. They passed the player in force and everything. Grab that player. Boom. Dot team. You are done. All right, let's try it out. Let's go to, oh, uh, let's put some team stuff down, right? We don't have any teams. We can't try it out if we don't have teams. Go to the team service, add a team, add a second team. Let's call one, I don't know, cats, right? Cats are obviously orange-ish. And then we'll have dogs. And dogs will make them, what's that? Rust, yeah, that's good. Cool. We have cats and dogs. Now let's get a spawn where we can switch team. So I only need two players I could try on one team, try to hurt them and you won't be able to, and then try it on another, and then I will be able to hurt them, right? So this is gonna be, uh, let's make this our, not that one, let's go to brick color. Let's make this our orange, because I can find it real easy. It's all the way to the, to the left. And we'll go down to teams, right? Allow team change on touch. I want that because I want to switch. I don't want this to be neutral because I don't want to spawn on it and then switch teams accidentally. Team color, orange. What happened there? Oh, orange. Team color, orange. Bam. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and get our test server. 
start. I'll pause this because it takes forever. All right, this is all started up and I have something in my starter pack. There we go. I just hit a one because the mouse doesn't work very good with this weapon system. Boom, I did some damage. See that? I did some damage. Now, if I step on this, I should be on his team. Boom, now I'm on his team. No damage. Sweet. That's pretty good. And we can't switch back. Uh, if you're stuck in here like this, you can turn off your Roblox Studio if you're on a Windows machine with Shift F5. Or if you hit that little flag button, right, that'll free you up and then you can do other stuff. All right, so I can do cleanup. All right, so good luck with that. And let me know if you have any more questions about those weapon systems.